Okay, so let's set this one up. So we have our skater here, right? Skater is uh, going to shoot a bullet. Why am I putting on a, on a skateboard, by the way? So we can kind of ignore friction, yeah. So we put him on the skateboard to ignore friction. So he's going to go ahead and shoot his bullet, right? So we're going to, again, use conservation of momentum. Okay, all forces are internal to the system. So the the explosion happening within the, the gun, okay, that's all inside the system. P initial equals P final. Now, what's his initial momentum? Zero. Yeah, why is it zero? Nothing's moving. Nothing's moving. So the gun is still, the bullet still, Jesse still, everyone is still. So the initial momentum is zero. Okay? What's the final momentum? Zero. Is it not zero? It is zero. So there is a final momentum also of zero. Now how is that possible if you have a bullet going, this is what, about 1,500 miles an hour, and you have him going backwards, how is that possible that the final momentum is zero? Okay, one's going to the right, one's going to the left. What must be true about those two momentums? They're equal, yeah. So one's going has a positive momentum, one has a negative. When you add those two up, what should they equal? Zero. zero. So the actual momentum of the system stays zero, even though they obviously are moving. Okay? So anyways, what you're going to do is say zero is our initial. Then we're going to have the momentum of the skater plus the momentum of the bullet. Okay? Momentum of the skater, um, mass of the skater, velocity skater, mass of bullet, velocity bullet. Now I'm going to do something here with the mass of the skater that in this problem won't really make much of a difference. But conceptually, I want you to understand it, and on future problems it will. The mass of the skater, or this collection here, is not 50 afterwards, okay? It was 50 before, it's not 50 after. Why is it not 50? The bullet exits, right? So the mass is actually slightly less than, original, than the original 50, okay? So I'm going to consider it here. Now when you guys see the number, you'll see, oh, it doesn't really matter. But in future problems, it might. So his true mass after would be 49.95 times his velocity plus mass of the bullet would be, don't forget to convert, 0 0.05 times 700. Okay, and you do get a, a, a negative answer, first of all. What's the negative telling us? He's going to the left. He's going opposite. And then what's the actual answer? Point what? Seven. Seven oh one. Okay. And what did you get when you used 50? 0.7, okay? So notice, you know, in the context of this problem, it doesn't really matter. But conceptually, I want you to get it. And in future problems, it may matter, okay? All right, let's do one more.